Colorado. Can you talk about what you had today? Um, I will say, like I said in my last start, I had my fastball come on working today, and I feel like every time I have my fastball come on working, um, the rest of the pitches I can I can work with. You know what I mean? I feel like as a starting pitcher, you always have to have your fastball come on, and that's what I had today. And we'll get the microphone to Matt in the second row. Christian, what did you see from from Eduardo, especially early, and did you kind of get the feel that, feel that he was in for a night like this? Yeah, I think, like I said, like he said, his, his fastball command was there, and, you know, after that we can do whatever we want with all the old pitches, you know, the change of the cutter in to righties, uh, the slider away to lefty, so it was everything working tonight, so it was a fun game. Uh, Jen in the second row on your right, guys. Oh, excuse me, on, on, on your right. Chamo, en el día de hoy, definitivamente tuviste una gran salida. ¿Qué tú me puedes decir acerca de, de esa salida que parece bastante a la última que, que tuviste? Mira, tenía, yo creo que lo que me ayudó era que tenía la, podía localizar mi recta. Yo fue una de las cosas que, que yo siempre tengo en mente cada vez que salgo a pichar, es localizar mi recta siempre y... Cada vez que la tengo, tengo la habilidad de, de poder trabajar con mis otros picheos. Siempre que puedo localizar mi recta donde, donde quiero localizarla. Cristian, definitivamente en los últimos partidos ese bate está sonando bien. Habla más acerca de esa actuación tuya, que realmente eh, conecta el a la a, oportunamente. Sí, este, sabe que, que eso estamos aquí para pa tratar de ayudar al equipo, tú sabes. Eh, hoy jugamos, el equipo jugó como, como una familia y, y eso es lo que queremos, todos los, todos los días salir como un conjunto a, a salir a ganar y, y dar el 100%. And we'll get the microphone to Jen. Eduardo, what was, the, just what was your conversation like with uh, Alex when you came off the mound there and obviously you're pointing at your wrist and he didn't want you to do that. What was, what was that about um, and what was it like from your end? I mean, he just told me don't do that. I mean, like, like I say, like, like I say earlier, I just... It's just something that was part of the, the, the moment, you know what I mean? It just, but he just told me, like, I mean, we don't do that here, stay humble, you know what I mean? Just, you just go out there and play hard every time, you know what I mean? And like I say, I feel bad for myself because I just, um, I do that, you know what I mean? And and even I say apologize to, to Correa if I see it in person, you know what I mean? Because that's not things that, um, that I normally do, and it was just part of the game. That's, that's it. Uh, up front on the right, guys, Dan. Um, Eduardo, and maybe for you too, Christian, uh, you seem to be throwing really hard in that first inning. How good did you feel tonight, and how much did the crowd uh, get your adrenaline going early on? I will say, you just say it right there. I will say the crowd and, and the stadium and everything, that's what it got me. I will say that, that much power on it on my, on my shoulder just to throw the ball like it was today. Because you see, by the end of the game, I was throwing the ball right where I wanted, even if it was 92 or 96 like it was today. Everything is just about the command. You can throw 99 or 100 right in the middle of the play, and still going to get here hard, you know? So. For me, it's just about the command, even if I throw 90 or, or whatever I was throwing in the game. Chris, did you, did you notice that right away, too? Yeah, it was electric fastball to, tonight, I think, you know. This is adrenaline. I think the way that this game is so important for, for us, you know, get ahead 2-1 in the series. So, you know, it's everything together, you know, like, you know, you get locked in and, 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 and you do it for your team, you know, for your teammates. and, and Give all everything you got. So, yeah. On your left, guys, Daniel. Eduardo, ¿qué se siente tan especial? Última tres salidas de calidad aquí en FW Park. ¿Qué te motiva? Eh, mira, más que todo, lo, yo creo que la, la atmósfera, los fanáticos, yo creo que eso es una de, la, de las motivaciones que más uno tiene cuando juega en su casa y, y es lo que he aprovechado. He aprovechado que los fanáticos siempre están con nosotros y los bateadores, los pitches siempre están con nosotros y creo que eso es lo que nos ha lo que nos ha hecho jugar así en la casa. Stan, your left guy is Tyler. Yeah, Christian, just from the perspective of the lineup, um, how much has it helped to have Kyle Schwerber just on the team in general and also at the top of the lineup setting the tone for the rest of you? Yeah, he's a, a complete hitter. Uh, he get walks, you know, he he grind at bats, you know, he get a lot of pitches in that bat, and I think that helped us to to see more and, and get more information for the starter or the reliever. And, you know, he can go deep. Uh, you know, he's a perfect spot for pick for us. You know, I think, you know, he's going to help us a lot this, this postseason. And one row behind on the left. 
Eduardo, in that second inning, um, I mean, you got six runs back there for you, but you were waiting for, I think it was 36 minutes. Can you just talk about how you were able to sit through that, if you did anything in particular, then how you came out and kind of kept kept the pace? Um, I feel like I'm glad that I had the opportunity to play with um, with a lot of veterans guys, and they showed me the way to do it, you know what I mean? You got to keep your body moving, you're moving around, go in the cage, throw some balls. Um, that's the way they show me to do it. I mean, sell, price, um, Porcello. Even Nate, you know what I mean. Just those guys always teach me how to do the right things, and and that that's one of the things they they always tell me. Like even when 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 you when the other team had long things like that, move around, go on occasion or some balls. So that's the way I I'm doing it now, you know. Because I, on the past I had some games that I was long in and out there, and I was sitting the whole time and go out there, and I don't feel it at all myself, you know. So I learn because of them. Second row on your right, Sean. Uh, for either of you, you were both here in '18 played the Astros, lost game one, and then ripped off four in a row and took care of them. Is this starting to feel like that to you? You're halfway there. Do you see some similarities, even though they had uh, you had home field last time and they have it this time? But does this maybe feel a little bit like that series? I think, you know, we play one game uh, every day. You know, like, we don't get ahead, but, you know, like I said, you know, we we go there and give everything we got to to win every try to win every day game we you know we play. So we're playing good ball. You know, we the first game almost had him, uh, but it's part of the game. You know, like you know, it's turn the page and get it second game and third game, and you know we're now in good place now. Uh, far back the left center aisle. Hey Eduardo, uh, just the fact that you got through the first three innings the way you did. Um, but also, you know, the, the last two. Uh, how important were those to sort of rounding out your performance, especially after having to, to labor through the fourth inning, and also just the importance of getting through those six innings to save the staff and some of the staff for tomorrow? I mean, I feel like as a starter, you got to, like, no matter what game it is, you got to go out there and, and do your best to go six or seven innings. That's, that's what you call a starting pitcher, not just go out there to one or two innings all the time, you know what I mean? So. For me, it was uh, really important to go out there in six innings today because uh, I know the, the lineup we have. I know they can, score, they, they can score a lot of runs, you know what I mean? We got power, we got everything on the lineup. And I just feel like I go out there and do the best to keep the, uh, the other team from scoring too many runs because I know we can do the job, you know?